how does it feel like to have high supraphysiological testosterone levels? I don't have uh, super physiological testosterone levels. I keep my, my current testosterone in that eight, 900 range on my total T. I keep my free T like in the, in the mid twenties and I feel normal. Um, mm -hmm. but I will say that in, you know, there have been time periods in my life where I was competing in bodybuilding, where I had super physiological levels and how it feels, I would describe as unsustainable, long-term irritable. You feel in one hand, almost like you're on a drug, you feel like almost hyper alert, but at the same time, unwell. And it's hard to put a finger on the unwell part because something is off both mentally and physically. You, you do crash, you feel fatigued. And while you're feeling a rush of energy, you also feel like your eyelids are heavy. You struggle to sleep and you're chronically tired, but yet your body feels like it can keep working. So it's a very weird, awkward feeling that I'm not a fan of. I feel like it ages you fairly quickly. And when I say super physiological, I'm talking steroid doses. I'm not talking, you know, we got patients that are quote unquote outside of the lab range. The lab ranges are, are junk. They're, those mean absolutely nothing. So if the lab tells you over 850 or 900 is to it, listen, if you feel great at 1200, 1300 and everything else looks good, we have no problem with that. We have lots of patients in that range. I'm talking super physiological in the, you know, 2000, 3000 range. You're going to, you're going to, there's no free lunch. You're going to pay the price for that down the line. And uh, it doesn't really feel all that good when you think back on it at the, at the time, you know, you're killing in the gym. That's great. But the rest of your life suffers for it. So uh, I'm not a fan.